Hey, Michael with X-Force PC here. Um, I've been asked by a number of customers a number of times to, um, or whether or not the mainstream gaming system can support triple display. And my answer in the past has always been, yes, it is technically possible to do triple display on the mainstream system. And um, but I, but I always say I don't recommend it. I'd rather see you in the titanium system at all possible just because that gives you some additional additional headroom um, but so I because of the requests you know I finally taken the time to hook up the um, mainstream system to three these are three 27 inch 1080p monitors and we're getting some uh, pretty good frame rates here with the objects and stuff turned up pretty high you know, we're getting about 30 frames per second, which is kind of where you want to be. Um, 30 is that line that I always recommend you try to stay above. We're in the New York area. I took off from, from LaGuardia. Um, so, you know, this is a fairly dense area. Now, one thing I will say is I did back the rendering options down a bit to achieve that 30 frames per second. So let's take a look at those. So in the rendering options, normally um, I would have you, or I would personally have the texture resolution up here set to extreme. I back that down to very high. And the other change I made was the airport detail. I usually have set to extreme. I back that down to high. And lastly, the number of objects, I changed that from tons to a lot. So those are the three concessions I made to get pretty much the same frame rate. We're consuming 600 megabytes of RAM, video RAM, I should say. Um, in other words, 0.6 gigabytes of video RAM. So that means that our two gigabyte card, we're only using about a third of the available video RAM, which is good. And that's mostly because I backed this texture resolution down, not so much to reduce this consumption, but just to improve frame rate. Now with this thing set to extreme, this 600 megabytes or 0.6 gigabytes was up around 1.5 gigabytes but I didn't feel like the frame rate was good enough and so that's why I backed it down the texture resolution up here to very high instead of extreme. I'll unpause this and uh, zoom you back out a bit. And th this system could also support uh, a fourth display down here. Um, you wouldn't be able to run a second copy of X-Plane, at least I wouldn't recommend it. That would really hurt your frame rate. What you'd want to do is run a, a, a third-party program down here, and you would want to uh, run something like Air Manager, which is made by Sim Innovations, or you could run um, uh, Sim Plugins Panel Builder, um, the, both of those products allow you to build your own instrument panel. Um, on our faster systems, we're actually able to run a second copy of X-Plane down here that just shows the instrument panel, but I just don't think that would be a good idea. I think uh, the performance up top would suffer too much by running that second copy of X-Plane down here. The other thing you can do is for this fourth display, you could always hook up a, um, another computer and the two computers could talk to each other through the network and that computer that's driving this monitor could just display the instruments and it does, wouldn't have to be a terribly powerful computer because you would turn your rendering options or, or your, in other words your scenery all the way down on that system because the only thing it would show is the instrument panel and you know we can tell you how to do that um, we know how to do that kind of stuff so um, we can certainly help with that if you decide you want to go that route Hopefully this helps. Um, this is the um, mainstream gamer in its default configuration with the GTX 960 and the i5-6500 and 8 gigs of RAM running three 27-inch 
1080p displays with pretty high rendering options.